This is a video guide for user administration in Product Recall NZ. The video will cover the following topics. Am I an administrator on Product Recall NZ? Accessing the users list, editing existing users, adding new users, suspending and reinstating users, and lastly, changing the account administrator. To manage users in Product Recall NZ, you must have an administrator role. Every organisation has one account administrator, who is the main contact against the account, and can have one or more user administrators to assist with managing the account. To find out who the administrators are for your organisation, simply log in and go to the Organisations and Recall Ready screen. Here you'll see which of your organisation's users are account administrators and which are user administrators. Be aware that only administrators can see this screen on their left-hand menu. If you can't see it, then you are not an administrator. The key difference between account and user administrators is that user administrators cannot add other user administrators. At larger organisations with multiple users, we'd recommend the account administrator adds at least one other user administrator to help them maintain users and their recall ready status. The users list is where you can see all the active users against your organisation. You can also see what roles they have and whether they have administrative rights. To access an article on user roles, click the question mark icon on the top right of the screen. To edit a user, just double click on them or click the edit icon. Here you can make changes to their details, such as updating their cell phone number or changing their organisation roles, for example making them an approver as well as an initiator. Or if you are the account administrator, make them a user administrator so they can also help to manage users. Once you've made required changes, press Save, then back to return to the Users list. If you wish to add a new user, click Add User from the Users list. You'll then need to fill in the following required fields and give the user at least one user role against an organisation before you can save. Roles are very important because they dictate the user's permissions on Product Recall NZ. For example, if you simply add a user as an initiator, they'll be able to create and submit notifications for approval but not approve them to issue them to recipients. If you're an account administrator and want the new user to assist with user management, give them the user administrator role. If you added them as a contact, for example, as a recall coordinator or reimbursement contact, the system will automatically add them as a contact to any notifications you create which saves you from having to add them manually. Once all required fields are complete, click Save and Next, which will take you to the Messaging Preferences screen, where default messaging options have already been selected. Click Save and Back. At this point, the user will be added to the system and will receive an email like this.
it will let them know to log in within 48 hours of receiving the email and to set a password. It also has some training options which we recommend the new user looks into. If a user no longer requires access to Product Recall NZ, it's best practice to suspend their account as soon as possible. To do this, edit an existing user, uncheck the User is Active box, and click Yes on the dialog box that comes up, then click Save. The user is now no longer able to log into their account. If they do need to be reinstated in future, simply locate them on the Users list using the Suspended filter, edit them and recheck User is Active. Remember to click Save after any changes you make. Note you may need to reset their password on their behalf. An account administrator is the main contact for the organisation's product recall account. There is only one account administrator at each organisation and it's their responsibility to replace themselves if they're leaving the organisation or have changed roles. Before you select a new account administrator to replace yourself, check if the new person is already added as a user and add them if they're not. Once you're ready to make the change, edit your own user profile. You'll see an option to change account administrator to with a drop-down menu with all the active users at your organisation. So just select the user you want to be the new account administrator and click yes on the dialog box that comes up. And if you're removing yourself from the system, uncheck the user is active box and click yes on the dialog box that comes up. Click save, then log out.